hard is it to take criticism because we've all had it across our life at, yeah. at, at different points and and to bounce back from it that's the important thing look i've done i remember doing um a particular show uh where i gave as you always do as an artist you know you give your heart your soul your very being everything to being as wonderful as possible and you think that you're doing really well and then you know you wake up in the morning and you can you can read a review about yourself that mm. is just like you know soul destroying yeah, really abrasive yeah. and sometimes too you know people people write scathing reviews because uh it elevates their status as a writer too mm -hmm. because it's better to it's easier to sound witty when you're writing putting mm -hmm. someone down mm -hmm. uh and yeah i remember like being younger and reading my first bad review <laughs> you know and feeling uh, so kind of bewildered and slightly embarrassed going back on stage in front of two thousand people sure. the next night sure. but best thing that could ever happen to me because you know, yeah. 30 years later, I'm, yeah. I'm still here and it's neither here nor there what people say. Some will like you, some won't, and that's that's okay. Yeah. To be freed from that anxiety of being, uh, you know, judged is a great thing. It's big, yeah, it's a big thing. And I think, just as you said earlier, it's like how do you, you've got your, your work life and you've got, and you are, and a brand, which mm. you are, and then you've just got you that just goes home and takes yeah. off the face and gets into the trackies and you yeah. go, well, that's actually me and I've left my voice, I've left all that. And yeah. It's hard to, to, I think, probably separate those two. Yes, it is. But I... I get much more kind of uh, I'm I'm better at it and I'm more philosophical about the whole kind of industry yeah, nowadays. Yeah.